Hey guys, what's up? My name is Andres and you're about to watch the online prosperity show. Don't miss out. We're going to talk about social media, about building a business, about key components to uh, understanding how to take your business to that next level. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity TV show. And today we've got none other than Andres Martinez. Andres, how are you today? I'm doing great, my friend. How about you? How's it going? Great stuff. Now, Andres has got a lot of experience that ranges from graphic design, video, motion graphics, and photography. And now he's into Facebook um, ads and social media, also encompassing email marketing, online funnels for cold, warm, and hot leads, and as well as website building. He's using WordPress for that. He's got a terrific knowledge of SEO, and lately he's been jumping into e-commerce and Amazon World as he has just launched a new product called the Stick Case. Are you a disruptor there, Andreas? Yeah, yeah, no, you know what? It, it's funny when I hear like the series of things because I, I think back on my journey, right? I think back on the different parts that I had to learn just to get to that next level. And it's, it, it just proves that, you know, it's a never ending learning. And that's something that people need to understand with the digital industry. It's all about the ongoing and being hunger, being hungry for that. Great stuff. Okay, so you've done quite a lot of things that are crucial in the whole digital marketing space. How have you managed to get a grasp or, a, you know, a pulse on every single one of those things? You know what? I think the main key here is understanding that all of these ones end up being tools, tools that get you to a place, right? If, if you start seeing them as, if I can understand this new tool, I'll be set. It's, it's really, you get nowhere. You need to see each tool as, as, as just a means to an end type of thing. So, when I learned a little bit of graphic design, that was just enough that I can get to the next place and communicate my message better, right? It's all about communicating the right message at the right time and at the right place, so being relevant. And all these tools just end up being key components that would help you out to reach that goal, right? So you don't need to know all these things. It all depends on your goal. In my case, because I started with video and then graphic and then web and et cetera, et cetera, one thing just kept leading to the next because of my goals. but you know, at the end of the day, the message here is that uh, focus not on the tools, but focus on your goal, focus on your vision, focus on really what you want to accomplish. And with that in mind, then you can pick the right tools and that would lead you to a whole new level. Great. I, I um, went to a conference once, Andres, and then they told me, uh, you know, digital marketing is like driving a car. Okay, just like yes. uh, you have mentioned that all these tools are working in unison, you don't have to hold on to the wheel or to mm -hmm. um, wipers because <laughs> if you do that, you can. <laughs> That's you know, a great analogy. And you know, there's um, there's the w w wind wiper at the back, which is just rubbing off the dirt. If that is not there, you might cause an accident. The the rear view mirror, if it's not there, it's you will notice that, you know, you can't see behind you. So I, I like the analogy that you say that these are just tools and all you got to do is put them all together. Now, that's right. Obviously when people are starting, they don't know which tools then to, mm. to jump onto and they don't know what to actually specialize in. Did you have anyone that was showing you the way as you were starting with your business? I think the main key, when you're starting out, it's, it's getting the basics down, right? A lot of people want to run before they walk. And that's the, the, that's the worst mistake you can do. You don't try to learn the most advanced tool just to try to get there. You, you got to understand the basic parts, right? And for me, I had a professor that actually taught me like the four main elements that every marketing uh, campaign or successful business must have. And number one is product, your product or service. Number two is the price. What kind of pricing are you going to put it? What kind of positioning are you going to do? Uh, number three, what place? Are you going to sell it on a store, physical store? Are you going to offer it uh, as a service online or whatever that is? What's the place where you're selling that product or service? On? And the last one is the promotion. What marketing mix are you doing, right? Whether it's online, whether it's print, whether it's uh, networking, email. Anyway, there's endless possibilities, but getting those four things down in my mind kind of gave me a framework 
to go from point A to point B on anything I wanted to do. So for people that are starting out, I tell them don't get caught up in learning Photoshop, in learning Facebook ads and thinking that that's going to be the end all be all. Focus on learning the basics, understanding what your business needs and who are you talking to? And I mean, it all comes down to relationships. It all comes down to people because I don't care what logo you're looking at. It's made out of people like you and I. And if you understand that you need to communicate a message to that person, then you're already ahead of the game. Great stuff. You just mentioned a really big aspect here, the four P's of marketing, which are product, price, place, and promotion. A lot of people skip those parts and go in for the shiny objects. What has being the one thing that has grounded you, you know, mm. when, when you're starting, because some people just hear an ad and then they're already going on to that and, and then <laughs> it normally just disrupts them and then they end up very uh, tired and exhausted and not even moved an inch of uh, where they're supposed to, to have gone. What, what is it that grounds you? That, that's a fantastic question. That's something that, uh, believe it or not, I, I didn't discover it right away. It didn't start as a, something that I just knew right, you know, when I started my journey. It honestly happened, you know, two years ago or so. And it's really understanding what drives you. What is your why of what you're in business, right? Um, people think, well, it's because I want to make money. It's because my, I want my business to grow. No, that, that's the outcome. That's the outcome of your why. And that's something that people need to, to understand. And I love when I, when I talk to other entrepreneurs and, and I ask them, right, oh, what's your story? What's your main motivator? Because a lot of people focus on, as you said, chasing that shiny object, chasing the, the money or the lifestyle or the freedom or the uh, traveling and making money and, and all this, you know, beautiful scenarios in their minds. But they don't understand that if you don't have a solid why and motivation of why you do it, um, then you're not going to find uh, those, you know, that push to go to the next level when roadblocks come ahead. It's not going to be easy. There's a lot of hard work involved and a lot of learning uh, that happens. So, I mean, the best advice I can give is find out your motivation and, your, and, your, and what's going to be pulling you before you get into the tactical. Great. You, 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 you just brought up a really interesting aspect here of mm. the why. Maybe, do you mind sharing us with us your why of why you actually are having this conversation with us today? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, good, great, yeah, great, great question. Yeah, so my wife and I believe that we are in business because we want to help people. We want to transform the world and change the different tools, the different message, the different um, key components where, where, where people are not doing things right. I want to inspire people to take action. I want to focus on leadership. It's, it's very horizontal. It's, it's very uh, focused on giving versus taking, right? So our, our main purpose and our why is that we believe that if we build successful businesses, we will be able to help more people. We believe that money, just like these other programs that we talked about, are tools. And this money tool becomes literally just something that you can use for something good toys all that stuff is great but my why of business it's to be able to reach more people is to have a bigger impact it's to be able to be heard and to transform kind of from the inside out not only governments countries communities but one-to-one -one, from the inside out person to person understanding that it's horizontal and if you're not growing if you're not giving you're not in business for the right reason. Great stuff. Um, that actually really resonates with uh, <clears throat> my why for mm. actually having this program and also the course that uh, some of you that are watching right now are involved in or are going to be involved in. Essentially, entrepreneurs are the people that can change the world. Okay, Entrepreneurs are the ones that are creating all these mm -hmm. things. Entrepreneurs are the ones that are creating a livelihood that makes yes. it easy for other people to have a life that's profitable and enjoyable, okay? That's right. So if we can band together, me and Andreas, help other entrepreneurs uh, to step up and in the process help other entrepreneurs, we reach out to a lot more people than we've yes. done in, in one uh, unison. I appreciate you for this moment, brother. Thank you so much. Okay, so now that you've mentioned and we have a 
and, and, and uh, come out of the shell of you know your intentions as an entrepreneur and how you have been in production you've got a new product on the market yeah so um when my wife and i were traveling uh this past uh year we went to mexico and we went to the beach with a couple friends and we realized that every time we wanted to take a picture we we had to carry our selfie stick on on one of our little beach bags and that was extremely inconvenient i was annoyed by it it kept falling it didn't fit on the bag and and we we said you know there's gotta be a better way <laughs> so we started researching and, and we came up with this product that um we didn't come up with the original engineer and patent but we now have a patent with our manufacturer and and this is our product and essentially what it is is a phone case that transforms into a selfie stick so right. if you're traveling if you are uh, going out and you don't want to carry a big bag and you know it's very inconvenient the stick is uh, shrinks from a regular stick to you know uh, regular phone case size <laughs> it's funny because I actually you know have it right here with me <laughs> and and yeah it's, it's it's literally just like a phone case that transforms into a selfie sticks and that also has the ability of being a kickstand and internal Bluetooth and whatnot so you know we thought convenience is one key aspect of it and second, the message. We want to let young girls know specifically that it's not just about putting these perfect selfies all over Instagram and this perfect life that, uh, again, going back to my why. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, it, it always has to be tied on to, to the main message. And, and yeah, we, we, we have a, a need of uh, tell people about self-awareness and, and why it's, it's, it's not important to look at all the exterior and all the you know, perfect, pretty picture, but to be authentic, to be genuine, to be true to yourself, to love yourself. That's why our, one of our main key taglines is embrace your selfie love, because that's gonna be a, a, a huge component in, in anything you do and, and in any media and posting that you do online. If you, if you now are worrying about being authentic and being genuine versus being uh, you know, all perfect for just to get a next like or a next comment from, from whoever you're looking uh, for that acceptance or or uh, validation aspect of it. So yeah, that's that's uh, essentially it in a nutshell. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I've got a two part question that's coming up. Are you ready for this? Now, first, I'm ready. <laughs> first of all, obviously about the authenticity. Um, you know, I just wanted to reiterate and add that we have created a human being that has no sense of what is real and what is not. Okay, a human being that has 20 yes. million likes on Instagram but has no love back at home. All right, <laughs> very true. With your, with your, you know, move and and everything else that is going to ground a lot of people mm. at home to what is real and to actually be, do, and have the life that is um, what we aspire for. I like how you have used the tools that we talked about earlier and use them to build now what is a product, which mm -hmm. is now <clears throat> reaching people at a larger scale. The point I wanna drive home now is, it's not where you are or what you start with, but if you use the tools right, the digital right. marketing that you had before, now you've got a product that is gonna sustain, first of all, your family and nearly the rest of humanity, because I think I would need one of those as well. <laughs> well, and thanks for the invention. Right, so how has that transition um, from, you know, working with other clients to actually creating your own product, how has your knowledge of digital marketing sort of sustained this, mm. Um, you know, transition. I, I, I hope you're getting where I'm trying to drive this whole. Yes. Thing. Yeah. So I think one of the things to to recognize is that um, every client, every product, even though they share some common ground, it is different, and there is learning involved and, and hard work and hours of of understanding what it is that you want to do. Because uh, I don't care how how long you've been in in digital marketing, the tools are constantly evolving. And for me to go from client and service based to product, it's something I'm still learning. I, I recognize that I don't have it all figured out and I'm learning how to be better you know, day after day. Right. And, and for me, I guess the, the part that was able to recon, you know, kind of put both together was again, making people and making the consumer number one, right? If you truly care not so much about how 
you know, much money you can make from this or the margins that you're going to have or et cetera. But you focus on what is the need of my client or my customer, or in my case, my need was, this is annoying. I don't want to carry a selfie stick around. I want something more convenient. What can I do? And you know, if I want to be vlogging, because that's something that people are doing nowadays so much, I, I need a, a convenient tool set. So it's, it's giving people uh, something of value. Obviously, Andres, you've come like we have already explored, you know, from the digital aspect to the product. Okay. And so far, your main focus has been bringing social media into the face of the people, right? Obviously, your product is going to be a socially used um, utensil, people taking selfies and stuff yes. like that. Now, how are you harnessing that part personally and for other people? Awesome. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, it are, are happening right now in, in today's world, it's, it's where our eyes are. It's where our attention is. You know, back in the day, the attention wasn't radio. Then it evolved into TV and commercials were hot, then websites. And, and now the attention is in, in our devices. They're on our cell phones. Everyone is checking their devices 40, 50 times a day or more, scrolling down their timelines, liking, commenting, and knowing that more than just likes and comments, it can become a very amazing tool for business development, I think is key. So understanding that it's all about a, a battle for attention and knowing that the best way to do it is to put relevant, valuable, entertaining content out there for your customer. Um, I'm reading right now a really awesome book uh, by Gary V. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Jab, 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 Right Hook. And, and, and it's, 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 it's a great principle because it talks about, it's not all about you. Uh, you can right hook, you can say, hey, this is our, my service, this is my product, this is whatever, but, but you have to give three times. You have to give more value than you take or more value before you ask. So that's something that most people in social media um, are, are getting it wrong. Right. Uh, they think that if, if, they, if they just post a bunch of stuff about what they did this week and you know, cool pictures and cool quotes, they'll get it right. But uh, they actually have to go a little bit out of their way to generate and, and create valuable content for people. And, and that's now where, where it starts to be a page that I want to follow. That you want that you're pleased to receive that content, right? It's not about just your offer, but it's about um, tips and uh, hacks and tools to use that that you're just literally just giving them to me out of wanting to provide value and uh, something to the to the customer, right? So uh, getting that piece right combined with getting the context because each platform has its own context, has its own language, has its own audience. So knowing that that value piece in jab, jab, jab aspect before the right hook applied with the right platform and the right audience makes the whole difference in, in how to handle social media. And I think that's one of the main pieces that companies in today's world are not doing. Great. You, you brought up a really important aspect here, like what we're doing right now, creating all this content, yes. you know, uh, just so that people get value, get a sense of community, get a sense of belonging that yes. they are not the only people that are out there. And in any case, if you haven't gotten yourself your hands on the 20 steps to starting your own six figure digital marketing agency. Mm. Make sure you check in the links below. Nice. Uh, I will definitely be uh, sending that across to whoever really is serious on starting. And Andreas has been very kind to us today and giving us all this information regarding, um, you know, how to start, grow and scale and also what it is that you do once you already start. You've mentioned the four P's, um, you've mentioned um, how, you know, you, you are reading other people's content that is also, you know, yes. elevating you to uh, next levels. Now, what sort of tools can you recommend somebody who's maybe starting or within the digital marketing industry that you can recommend for them to, you know, utilize either to be productive or reach more people or just for them to be organized in you know, um, doing their work because this is a lot of stuff that you got to deal with. Of course, and, you know? of course. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think they should start with your course. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Hey. I mean, honestly, like, like 
people like us uh, spend time creating content and, and kind of that step-by-step -step system. Um, I think, again, I, I mentioned social media. There's a lot of information out there, but I think before getting into the technical, developing a full website and stuff like that, I mean, there's a lot of reach. There's a lot of connection and networking that you can do through Facebook groups, um, through commenting. I mean, if, if you're passionate about, um, let's say, shoes, Find groups that talk about that stuff. Find uh, communities and, 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 and get in there and interact. I mean, people make it seem like this is really, really complicated. And I mean, yeah, sure, it's complex, but people need to put in the work. People need to put in the day-to-day, hand-to-hand combat on jumping into communities, spending you know, a couple hours a day commenting, giving value, asking questions, connecting with people, DMing people on one-on-one -on -one level before they can you know, worry about uh, how do I make a 3D animation to blow my audience? I mean, that, that, that comes later. Uh, get, get those first tool sets, right? And I mean, again, YouTube is a great source. Uh, Google, uh, there's everything, right? So I mean, just Google in things as as a one on one marketing and uh, social media basics and yeah yeah I mean I, I think there's an overload of, uh, of information and and if you can start with uh, the basics and and chunk it down uh, put it into bite sized pieces um, so that you know you can learn uh, a little bit more condensed and and make notes uh, on on everything you do I think that's that's one of my main recommendations I mean find valuable courses stick to them. Go through them, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions, and and I think um, you, you'll you'll see that success. And and one step will lead to the next. But but you gotta be uh, ready to put in the work and to um and to go hard. Great stuff. Okay, so you mentioned putting in the work and really going hard. What is it that you do as now a product producer and also previously a digital marketer? to develop your skills and, you know, keep on top of everything that's happening at the moment. Mm, definitely. Um, I think one key thing that I've been uh, learning to do, because I've had to, honestly, it wasn't even that I was so smart and I just figured it out. I, I just had to, I had no other option or, uh, or else I knew I was going to, I was going to fail. So I created a schedule for me that allowed me to allocate specific hours consistent throughout the day whether that was one to two hours a day or more if I have to on the weekends and, and, and just have that time to learn, to read a book, to plug into an audio book and to um, write down stuff and, and, and do your own little documents so that you can uh, kinda learn. It's like going back to school in a way, right? Like, and, you, and you need to do that all the time. People think you just learn the tool and you just, you know, go, 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 go. No, not at all. You always need to put in that, that time. Um, I always like to put it uh, hunting versus farming, right? <laughs> I think it's important to do both. You can't just hunt all the time or else when you come back home, there'll be nothing there, right? And you can't just spend the time farming because then there won't be anything coming in, in the pipeline. So there needs to be a balance. And I think I, I believe I'm a big uh, a believer in, 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 in balancing uh, from you know, work-life balance to learning and prospecting uh, balance and and I think um, yeah it needs to be allocated in a very methodical way on the on, on a day to day basis so that you don't uh, just do a ton of of learning one day and then you just fall off and forget everything right it's it, it's the learning and information plus application right because if not then then it just becomes an idea then it's just knowledge no execution you're you're you're, you're back to square one now I've got a really random question just out of the blue yeah the yeah of course. Yes. How long does it take for one to become a pilot? Mm, that's a great question. I think uh, a lot of it goes back to what, what, what your goal is, right? I mean, if you want to just uh, build websites for clients, I think you can get up and running in three months if you put in the work. If you want to do, um, you know, product on um, e-commerce, I think, you know, you, you, you might take around six months, a little bit more complex. There's more, more factors involved, but... Um, I think one, one thing that I learned for myself is that you can do everything. You got to know when to outsource and when to, uh, you know, recognize your strengths versus weaknesses and to, and to just bet on your strengths and work on your strengths more because that will, will, that will give you a competitive edge. Everyone has, you know, its own story and everyone can, can have specific skill sets that will lead them to, to a higher step. But you can be working all the time on 
both weaknesses and strengths. You, you'll drive yourself crazy because certain things just won't come natural. There's certain things about finances and about um, you know certain tactical tools and management that sometimes I don't enjoy doing as much. I rather outsource that. You know, when you're trying to build a team, you you kind of have to. But you know, if you can also put that line and draw that line and say, hey, I I like to outsource this because then that would free my time to now do what I'm the best at. And, and I think that that's key to recognize. Don't get frustrated. Don't get uh, discouraged on the things that become really, really hard. Um, just learn to know the difference. I think that's, that, that's a big, uh, again, talking about uh, self-awareness and, and knowing your strength versus weaknesses uh, portion of it. So, yeah, I think that's, that's a big piece. What was a big uh, uh, changing factor for me and, and my wife. Wow. Andreas, I cannot thank you, man, for this My time. pleasure you have spent with us and obviously i know you've got a lot of stuff to do it's <laughs> late there in canada although it's morning here in australia but time <laughs> waits for no one okay and that's one thing we both that's right. realize um and also time is an illusion the fact that it's nighttime <laughs> there and it's daytime <laughs> there, no one is going to realize when they watch this that this was happening you know so no one <laughs> that's insane <laughs> exactly so when you are not doing your work people will realize that you did not put in the effort. So don't say you didn't have time because you know what? <laughs> it really is an illusion. And this is a specific example of it. You could be anywhere yes. in the world right yes. now. And, and when people ask for results, if they're not there at that specific time, they ask for them, you haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. I cannot thank you enough. Now, Andres, you probably have tools, uh, products, or website, or how people can contact you, especially if they've liked what you have said and they really want to get to know more about you and how can people get a hold of you? Or if you've got a product that they can latch on, please be my guest. Yes, yeah, no problem. Uh, if you want to check out the, the, the product that I, I just described, uh, which is this guy right here. <laughs> wow. You can go to, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun product. Uh, I don't know if you're able to see it here, um, but it's okay. thestickcase.com. Uh, we have our, our, our online store there. You can, you can get it there. Uh, you can message me as well. If you're listening to this show, I can give you a, sp a special coupon for, for an extra discount just because you've been listening to, uh, to this show and this uh, portion. Um, right. And you can also contact me if you've got more questions about social media, about uh, digital marketing as well. I uh, love to answer questions. I love to uh, connect with people, like-minded people. And you can message me at Andres, so that's A-N-D-R-E-S, at arrowviewmedia.com so a double r o w viewmedia.com i'll have all those uh details in the bottom and thank you so much for, for the sure that you've offered i mean no thank you <laughs> it's really amazing now yes you probably are watching this and you you know thinking uh how am i gonna start scale and uh grow there's a lot of people out there that are willing to help. Stay tuned into um, our show. We'll be interviewing all the other professionals that we think will be able to help you out in your journey. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed this. Subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow Andreas. Andreas, thank you so much for your time today. Not a problem. Thank you so much for having me. It's been, it's been great to uh, get to know you guys uh, as, as well. And, and, and I hope that... Uh, we can be connected and, and create some more awesome content for you guys that are ready to learn and, and take your, your digital online business to, to that next level. Thank you so much.